Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so you will never miss any new update. Whenever we upload a new video, you will get a notification on your phone. Arthur Penn, Andy Nullapen's success story is a story of grit and scholarship. Andy Nullapen was born in Kallal to Arthur Penchettiar and Saroja Achi. Arthur Penchettiar was an accountant for Nagrathar Companies and Saroja Achi was a loving homemaker. The family had four children to support, including a daughter stricken by polio at age three. Born in a family with simple means, he had to persevere and stretch the limits to attain his life goals and ambitions. Mr. Nullapen's singular goal was to bring his family out of their struggles and give them a good life. He persevered and today serves as the Vice President and Chief Information Officer of the Global Information Services Division at Broadcom. Nullapen observed other Nagrathars and realized that the common factor in their financial strength was education. He resolved to cross the threshold from struggles to stability through education. Nullapen began his education in Kallal. He received a Rural Development Scholarship to attend De Brito Higher Secondary School in Devakottai. He was also awarded a National Merit Scholarship based on his performance in the 10 standard state level exams. He then proceeded to Coimbatore Institute of Technology CIT, and obtained a BE in Mechanical Engineering. Upon completing engineering, Nalapin started his career as temporary bank clerk and also worked as a lecturer in Mail Maravathur for about a year. He then got a job with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in Bangalore. He was now in a good place working in a great company. Growing up, Nullapin always wanted to be a mechanical engineer. At HAL, he realized mechanical engineering wasn't his strength. HAL was introducing CATIA computers at the time and Nullapin saw a bright future in computers. Nullapin decided to pursue a master's in the US. He shares a story which seems humorous in retrospect but was no doubt trying at the time. He went along with a friend to Chennai to apply for a visa. The friend's was granted and his was rejected, and he was given the guidance to come back in six months with better documents. Nalapin knew that he had submitted the best possible set of documents and there was no hope of getting better documents. There was an option to go back a few days later for people who were rejected to try again. He decided to take the risk. Feeling that he had nothing to lose as his documents were never going to get better. The officer asked him if he knew why he was rejected and he replied that he did not. The officer responded that neither did he and the visa was granted. Mr. Nullapin graduated from the University of Texas at El Paso with a master's degree in manufacturing. From Texas, Nullapin decided to move to the Bay Area in search of jobs in information technology. In the US, he came to known as Atapan Nallapan. His cousin advised that the name is too long and would be an impediment to growth in the USA. This is how Atapan Nallapan became Andy Nallapan. Andy Nallapan joined HP in 1994 and remained there ever since. The organization has changed around him due to a series of restructuring and M&A activity. In 1999, Agilent was spun off from HP and Andy Nullapin got a managerial responsibility at the new firm. Later, Agilent's semiconductor business was sold to PE firm KKR and Avago was born. Andy Nullapin transferred to Avago, stuck a wonderful partnership with the CEO, Hock Tan. Avago acquired a series of companies through the years and Andy Nullapin was involved in making sure the new organizations were integrated seamlessly. In 2015, Avago acquired Broadcom. Octan turned to Andy Nullapin to manage the transition smoothly. Today, Mr. Nullapin leads Broadcom's information technology. 
The global company is a leader in semiconductor connectivity solutions that serve wired infrastructure, wireless communications, enterprise storage, industrial automation, and infrastructure software. As a Silicon Valley veteran of 30 years, Mr. Nallapin has good advice in store for young tech entrepreneurs. Go for a differentiated product or story. Understand the customer and develop the relationship. Have skin in the game. Disrupt yourself. Don't sit on success. If you stay still, somebody will eat your lunch. On the personal front, Mr. Nullipin lives in Fremont, California with his wife and two children. His wife, Prabha Nullipin, who has been a great pillar of support for him, serves as an engineering project manager at Apple in Cupertino, California. Andy Nullipin has a keen interest in hiking and running. He has been on hikes to Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Everest Base Camp and Grand Canyon, among others. He also runs half marathons regularly. Mr. Nalapin has been a beneficiary Nagarthar donors who identified him and funded his education. Today, he uses every opportunity to give back to the community. He serves on the board of International Tamil Academy. Team IBCN wishes Andy Nalapin and family the very best in all their future endeavors.